for all you people that want to talk your shit, talking about, oh, you and your ex still live together while you have a boyfriend. This is literally what we do. He just kicks it over here and watches his TikToks, makes TikToks. Doesn't really bother me, except when he wants something. What they wanted politically. Did they want your endorsement? Did they want you to help people get out the vote? Hey, you know, they ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. But, you know, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying, talk politics, but I love the president. You know what I'm saying? Brandon's room. He's 14, and this is his room. He don't know how to get up and clean up. He has everything that a child could ask for. But this is his fucking room. This is what he chooses to lay in. This is his uniform. He's been sleeping all day. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. <laughs> See? What's up, good people? Yeah. We in the this building. your podcast. Podcast. <laughs> you hear hey, look at T over there. Really? Look at T. Over there. Look, look, look at it. Yeah, honey, honey, honey dip, honey sriracha. Dip. Yeah. <laughs> honey dip tea. I thought it was a honey dip hot habanero <laughs> sauce. <laughs> That's what y'all named me. My name is Honey Dip Tea. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's been my name for years. Nah, whatever, man. This your <laughs> podcast. Hate, the whole crew is in the building in tonight, y'all. Yeah, I mean, got my man up? CJ over here. Listen, man. Yeah, man. How the good people? How y'all doing out there? You know, <laughs> my, my slogan is I do a lot, but I don't do the most. <laughs> right. Oh, man. As he says. Hey, whoa. Hey, listen, before we get started, man, what's up with y'all boy Diddy? Oh, no what's Diddy. What's up with Lord. Diddy? No Diddy. <laughs> Hey, listen, then what? I want to say this. Why, why they got to be an eyeball, though? Uh, that why was, they got to be eyeball, <laughs> though? That was my man. Like, I was, everybody that know me when I was younger, I was a I was a super Ciroc boy. No diddy. Like, <laughs> I really was. Like, I, I that was my guy. One of my one of my good friends, Reese, that's like my family. She she called me Diddy for the longest. Listen, Reese, that's over with. Look, look, uh, I, I want to say this. The FBI knew they had to go after Diddy when pop culture started saying pause or no pause. And he said no Diddy. To no Diddy. That's what they said. We, we got to get him. I heard the, we got to get him. I heard the one, <laughs> I heard the one boy say, um, yeah, man, that's crazy. They got they got Diddy on a Frico. Like a Frico, yeah, a Frico charge. A Frico charge. <laughs> I said, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Hey, they got R. Kelly. What's up, Dre? What's going on, yeah, man? This your podcast. Welcome tonight, God damn Diddy. Now, listen, man. His Look. slogan is "Take that, take that." That's so, <laughs> no Diddy, no Diddy. Take hey, that, no Diddy. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Did y'all peep the TMZ video footage? Of him at Opalaka Airport, mm -hmm. walking around just yes. pacing like. Oh, but he wasn't. He, he didn't look concerned. No, 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 no. He he. The, no, the pace. No, he did Was look not a concern. Not to me. It didn't look like a. It wasn't like one of those fast pace. Oh, like oh shit. No, no. It was just like okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. How my boy? Are, are, are you mean to tell me it did look like he not was to like? Me. Oh he, man. Not to me. He looked a little, a little, a little. In, in the face. But like, not God really. Damn, man. Uh, come on. Right. Like come on. Like <laughs> damn. Damn, I knew I shouldn't have took that we, ass. Where you at now, Diddy? You know where Diddy at? Oh, no, no. I, I, did they catch him? Did, yeah, did he's, not, he's him? not been charged with anything. So well, it was just a, but, but the one thing for sure, when the feds come after you like that. Well, they don't mm. come on a hunch. Yeah, oh, they, they, yeah, they, they, they know something. They got, yeah, they, listen, yeah, they know something. The they feds, know something factual. The feds got over Which a means someone has been participating. Nah, they, listen, it don't take... They don't even need 90% yeah, yeah. conviction rate. Mm. That means the feds been watching him for years. Mm. For a long time. Yeah, mm. they was like, you know, we got it. You know what, man? We got some for that ass. They're about to be joining R. Kelly. Ain't no no diddy. They like, yes, diddy. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> take that, take that. Yeah, <laughs> man, diddy. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> damn, I'm at diddy. Goddamn, diddy. Come on. Man. Why you do that, First diddy? Bill Cosby. <laughs> Then R. Kelly, now Diddy, like come look. On. They made an example out of out of Bill Cosby. Once 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 they locked up Bill Cosby, they should have known nobody was safe. Nobody. Well, well, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Listen, um, 
What's your name said? Your man was what, what's the comedian Who? board that was on uh Cat, Williams. Cat said 2024 is the age of Aquarius. Yeah, the sec the all the truth is coming the, out. The the dick deviants. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> they are coming <laughs> after the dick deviants. <laughs> Cat said it. Cat, I'm telling you, Cat, Cat was right. 2024, they so coming, they coming after, after the you too, I mean, listen. Hey, well, Lose, I, they coming after you too? Don't, no, no deal. Yeah, but I ain't got no money. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know I mean, they come after me, it's for practice. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they yeah, come after you, you too, CJ? Who? <laughs> You. I'm not one of those deviants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a child of God. <laughs> oh, <Lord>. yeah, right. <laughs> the way, I ain't on they level. Don't put me on they level. Let me turn my back. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all. Listen, oh, he done turned his back on you. I told y'all a couple episodes ago, I'm delivered. With the T. With the T, I'm delivered. Okay? I'm, I'm damn sure I ain't on Diddy status. I don't know what. Uh, freak over rice is on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Diddy be on some other shit. But, you know, hey, listen, welcome. Welcome. Sit back with us for one full hour, watch some videos, have some laughs. Sit that $5 ass down before we make change. This joint podcast. Let's go. This joint podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what it is. I hear you trying to sound like Peanut. <laughs> like, over there. shout out to Peanut. She in the building. Shout out to Peanut. Yes, yeah, Peanut. Peanut, Peanut is in the building. And she today. in a room over there and they're coloring and stuff like that, man. Let me see. Do we got the next or first video? Let me let me set up the first video. Let me get this. Thing we here. ready. Let me get this thing here started. Yeah, oh, we we want to see y'all in the chat, too. Definitely show some yes. love in the chat. Yeah, show some love in the chat. Hey, listen, man. Comment. I'm going to be thugging with y'all tonight. You gonna be, you gonna be what? Yes, I'm thugging. I'm look, I'm in the net thugging with y'all tonight. Yeah. Well, which level though? Are you gonna be like the thug level or like <laughs> the Vanessa Del Rio type of level? Hey. Yeah, she might be in there talking nasty. Listen, chat. Make sure y'all gotta watch it, man. Cause once y'all get her started, ooh, let's ooh, get it started. It's gonna be fire in the city. Train hey. don't stop. <laughs> look, last week I was good. I was on. I was on really good behavior last week though. That's what all. Can y'all? Can say. y'all agree? I was on really good behavior. Let us know in the chat. We don't know. <laughs> I was. <laughs> uh, anywho, anywho. Um, let's get to the first video of the video evening. One. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she said I'm off here once that happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, Q. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Listen, first video. <laughs> a woman responds to comments about her living with her ex while in a relationship. Oh, God. Sounds like some BS. She tried to kick, but let's let Peanut kick it off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's this Jump Podcast. For all you people that want to talk your shit, talking about, oh, you and your ex still live together while you have a boyfriend. This is literally what we do. He just kicks it over here and watches his TikToks, makes TikToks. Doesn't really bother me, except when he wants something like food. <laughs> what? Am I lying? You gonna cook for me? <laughs> Hell no, I got little Caesars. Go eat go eat the Caesars. And I sit far away from him. Chilling. Watching TV. And yeah, he doesn't bother me. I don't bother him. I mean, he's just like my roommate. If anyone wants to take him. If anybody wants a roommate, let me know he's available. Man, they ain't fucking. They ain't exactly. I, mean, I ain't trying to hear that bullshit. First of all, he's called an ex for a reason. Why the hell he living with you? He's an ex for a reason. It's like the rear, the rear window. He should be behind you, like not in the present. Like, what the hell is wrong with her? The, the dear giveaway for me. See, women don't even be paying attention to their own little subtle. Like, oh yeah, hints. I just feed them. Yeah. What? The fact that she said, "Oh, do you want the little Caesars?" Yeah. What? She wasn't yeah. talking about the pizza. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> She's talking yeah, about. Yeah, the yeah. I'm curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, yeah, I'm she like, curious. She like, she, you want this coochie? I mean, little Caesars. <laughs> Man, get the hell out of here. I'm right, curious right, where he sleeps. Got it. You know where he sleeps. <laughs> I'm curious where he sleep at. Right hold next on, to her. Hold on, hold on. First Cause he looked all, real comfortable. He didn't have no shirt on. Yeah, you know, I was about to say that. He had first no of all, shirt on. He, he had a jacket on, which means she's like this. Can you please go put a jacket on? Like, like I'm that, about to start that recording. Wasn't natural. Man, get the fuck it, out it wasn't of natural. It really wasn't. Like, come if, on, if you want to act like you in the house, have like some jeans on and a, and a hoodie. Act like you just sit around the house completely dressed all day. But no, this boy had on pajama pants and no shirt and a coat. Listen, really. 
He looked like he just <laughs> he just bust one off to me. <laughs> he looked real comfortable. Yeah. He laid back. He, he hey. feeling all on his own titties and all. He, hey. he felt it looked like he bust might, one off. That might have been why she was under the blanket. Well, yeah, she yeah. had to mm-hmm. she had to cover up that she wasn't dressed. She ain't had no no nothing <laughs> no. under there. So a, a T, let me ask you something. Do you think he's still hitting it? Oh hell yeah. Ain't no way in the hell my ex living with me. It, nah, nah. I did. Nah. But, but wait a minute. But wait. It, but if she was too comfortable. Too comfortable. She was too comfortable. And, but but wait a minute. Why they got to look at TV in the same room? Well, if, if you your roommate. I mean, listen. I when I have my you go college, to your room and I'm in my room. Yo, my why college, we why we in the living yo, room together? When I was in school, and and when I played ball. I mean, we, you know, we had roommates, but nobody really sat in the common area, which was like <laughs> the dining room and the living room because everybody was in their room. Yeah. They both sitting in the common area. So Listen. which means she all once, in a blanket. So which means yeah, whatever. once she finished, once she finished recording, they going to huddle back up. They going to cuddle back up. He going to be under the blanket with her because I'm pretty sure that's where the hell he was with no shirt on. With, with no shirt. <laughs> Listen, I used to date a girl. Shout out to Felicia. I used to date a girl who was like she broke up with her boyfriend but they couldn't break the lease and neither one of well neither one of them could afford it on their own so they had to finish the lease out before they both went their separate ways so for like two and a half months and i used to be like this don't seem right to me but she would like she would assure me like this is kind of pre facetime so she like you know listen i'm in my room he's in his room if he's in the living room, I'm not. If right. I'm like, I don't want to see you. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like everybody we, should be in that like, come, Yeah, we come and go in our right. own spaces. I just like, see you in passing. She was like, I don't. I wouldn't bring you here with, with him here because I don't want to start no friction. And I would hear him talking in the background and he would be like, yo, uh, did you make sure that so-and-so, so-and-so? And she'd be like, no, that's, that's for you to do. Or I did so-and-so. And it wasn't like relationship stuff it was in reference to the yeah, apartment it was they was, yeah. they was yeah. you make sure you took this and took the trash out blah 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 so first of all you my she ex got, you a grown ass man why the hell i gotta feed you when she got um done hello when she got done they you know the lease was up then they went their separate way so i've seen that before but he they was just too comfortable yes. hey well see there let me ask you something do you what do you think is her boyfriend's stance? And mm. or and or do you think she got a boyfriend? She don't. Or maybe or maybe she say, "Well, I got a boyfriend," but the boyfriend like, "I ain't got no girlfriend." So it's, it's, it's just one, a knockoff it's, thing. I'm what do you say, think? It's one of three things. Boyfriend is a simp, and he don't. He just let her do whatever. Number two, she's lying, and she don't have a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Or number three. She thinks she got a boyfriend, but but old boy like huh, huh, you live with old you live with old boy yeah, huh, and I got a couple things uh, on, on the side right. too. That's the only way. Only way is one of those three. So what what, what, do, you, what do you think, T? I agree with CJ because there ain't no way in hell like if if I have a boyfriend, that's just disrespectful. So how, that's disrespectful to my man. Like how I got my my ex living with me. Like I don't understand that. Yeah, and again, this culture with this post and everything. That was where you would lose me. Hmm. All right, if I accepted the fact that you got a boyfriend or your ex is there, why you got to cool. make it known? The yeah. minute you put that on social media, I'm done. Goodbye. Now, because I know me for sure. If I see one of my homies girls post some shit like that, oh bro, I'm grinding him up. I'm gonna call him first, and I'm man, gonna say, listen, I'm, I, yeah, I'm like, I call him. I'm listening, hey, yo, bro. my man. Is we going? You know, I'm about to grind you. Is we, going, is we about to end this conversation? <laughs> Are we going to Onyx? Or am I going to grind you up? It's one or the other. We either out at the hookah spot looking for the next one, yeah. or I'm about to grind you all the way up. Yeah, uh, yo, I'm listen, I'm putting the screws to your ass. Yep. Hey, yeah, look, he going to be right. Hey, lose me. I'll give me a fair one. Bro. Yeah, yeah all right. I'm, I, I never use this term, but I'm about to call you sassy, bro. Are you sassy or are we outside? Uh, you just knowingly let your girl live you with one X, man. Get the. Man, not man. Stop that. This joint podcast, man. Y'all need to listen. Any any fellas out there in the situations like that, man, get out of there. Listen. Get out of there. Get you some buns or something. <laughs> I, you gotta do something to get your mind out of that trance. Cause you you, you tripping. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah. We so, don't agree. AT, not at all. AT, you best stop letting that man live in your house. Ain't no man living in my goddamn house. <laughs> <laughs> it must be out your mind. <laughs> They like she. <laughs> well, you know what? I have a pre man in my house, which is my son. He's a pre man, he, but he's my son. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. that's, that's but different. He's, he's legally supposed to live with me. Yeah, that, that, that's different. That's different. The next man <laughs> that I live with would be my husband. That's it. Okay. Smart. Oh, yeah. Don't let JoJo Ray Ray Keisha and my cousin Elise. <laughs>
<laughs> I made this your podcast, man. So let's slide to video number two. Video let's go. number two. The video number two, man. What we got? So video video number two. A young woman says the reason why black black women keep receiving the bare minimum is because they're attracted to hood dudes. Mm. Yeah, you know I'm saying the Quan Quans. Yeah, it. the uh, Pookies and Ray Ray. <laughs> and I mean, they want to say the the hood culture, the the pop culture, the Pookie, Pookies and Ray Ray. Yo, Shout out to Pookie and Ray Ray. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Pookie and Ray Ray. Let Peanut kick this thing off as usual. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Aww. Let's go. There is nothing attractive about a hood tyrant. Let me say it again. There is absolutely nothing attractive about a hood tyrant. Girls. I want the best for black women, I really do, but it's really hard because women in our community are attracted to a certain type of man because that is what they deem as masculine or hyper-masculine. Basically, if you're not riding around with a Glock on your hip, <laughs> if you're not walking around with your pants sagging to your ankles, if you don't have several baby mamas and you're a lame, it's very disappointing because I feel like I'm seeing more pregnancy announcements, no weddings, at least here in America. The reason that's why a lot of black women in America are accepting the bare minimum and accepting poor treatment is because they are attracted to a certain kind of man. And honestly, let me be real with you girls. At one point in my life, I'm really embarrassed to say this, I used to be attracted to Glocktaviuses, hood tyrants, dust mites, whatever. I, I used to be attracted to them. I used to, seriously. Mind you, I have never lived in the hood in my entire life. My parents are immigrants that came here and put me and my siblings in amazing neighborhoods. I live in the suburbs, and yet I was still attracted to hood tyrants so it's not even a certain kind of girl that's attracted to them it really could be anyone and honestly the reason as to why i was attracted to those type of men is because i was consuming a lot of hood hollywood content i was following a lot of ig baddies i was following a lot of rapper baby mamas i was consuming that content and because those women were attracted to those kind of men i thought that that was like the it thing had a thing for them for maybe about a year or two and then it was over with and it's just because i realized that they're not going to cause any good in your life if you want to be married if you want to be a wife if you want to be taken care of yeah like those types of men are not going to do it for you now she's starting to realize her worth that's all that is at the end yeah Yeah. So, so you know how no diddy has replaced paul's Glocktavius is definitely replacing right. Glock- so that's, that's what Ray we have Ray. to do. That's what we they have to say for that. Glocktavius. Everybody the hood, the hood tyrants. They are hood tyrants. Everybody <laughs> Glocktavius from here on out. Uh, listen, that's a stoli. Uh, <laughs> I'm stealing it. <laughs> Glocktavius is in the house. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So wait, so T, let me ask you Why do the pop culture continues to continuously choose men like you know, I mean the Glock Taviuses, please. Okay, so let's let's just say this: I cannot speak for the pop culture. I am or, going to speak for me. No, 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 no. No, you will not change the question. No, you don't. We understand that. No, 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 no. You want to answer for these young women right now? You, okay. you the spokesperson for the women. Uh, All right, look, look, look. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Not I'm gonna keep it a bean. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna be completely honest. When I was yes, younger, please. yes. Those, as she calls Glocktaviuses, they were fun. They were exciting because it's like, like especially if it's you don't have like an exciting lifestyle, you dealing with somebody that's like a hood dude. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, you you something different from my norm, but they're dangerous as hell. So yeah. yes, you know. Right here in the comments, you got my niece saying I raised my kids to be bougie. Yes, the hell I did because once I realized, once I got in the middle of somebody's crossfires in somebody's house in West Philly, I said never again. We're not just going to speed past this. Like that comment just did not, um, you know, that could be a viral comment. Comment. 
So, um, Crossfire, would you like to uh, elaborate, elaborate on? Yeah. Man, what? I was at this boy house in West Philly, and you it know, was a boy, okay, yeah, a boy. I was like still in high school, mm-hmm. and he was a hood dude that so, would hustle, and I goes to visit. You know, I was going to go visit to go do my thing. <laughs> okay, that go, thing. Yeah, to go get Y'all that. I know that thing. To go so, get that thing. <laughs> so Glocktavius was going to bust it. <laughs> no, wide open. He was going to take care of that thing. But okay, shot next down. thing I know, <laughs> next thing I know, he like get down, and I hear all this what? banging. Man, I had no idea where the hell I was because I was not familiar with West Philly. I had to like literally find my way to hell home. So, and I had to run out the back door because I wasn't trying to get shot. So so here's a question. And we're not using you you as the, <laughs> the, D as is the good. example. The D be good. It's okay. Good. okay. <laughs> Thank you, Dro. Thank you for Thank being you, honest. Yeah, man. Thank you for That's being honest. <laughs> so here's here's a question. Let's take the children out of it. Because 17, 18, 19, you don't really know nothing. And you're proud of your product of your environment most mm-hmm. of the time. As 25, 28, 32, the the young but not young, not you, mm-hmm. give me your reason why you think those age women still choose Glocktavius. I think they probably still choose it because I think they just want, it's a, it's a way to fit in. Society, that's part of the norm. Everything that you look at on TV you got the guys that's like hustling or yeah. they has this they have this whole persona that the guys that's hustling got the money or you know those are the guys that can take care of you and at the end of the day they really not because once they go to jail get locked up or or dead you know who's where where are they now so there's yeah. no one left yeah. so now now let me let me so CJ let me ask you do you think it's the the dopamine hit or that rush that keeps these young women in these toxic relationships. I, I believe it. If you think about our culture, our culture thrives on negativity. And so mm. I think that when you have been introduced and indoctrinated with negativity all the time, the the, the rush of think about like something like skipping school. There's no yeah. real reason to do that. You do it you for the do, rush. You do it for the rush. Yeah. And so it's like these women are attracted to these guys because it's it's. it's was considered exciting like they they the, uh, i seen the guy make a shirt that says make smart cool again and it's like it's cool to be a dummy it's cool to be a <laughs> what they call a stepper or a driller or you know out in the streets the the, the, the young kids use the term crashing out like that's cool now to mm-hmm. those, those 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 five little boys that was um a part of that 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 mass shootout up the northeast yeah, where they yeah. shot eight kids yeah people think like i saw people commenting like oh they you know they they put on for the city they them ones for what the, the, it's, the it's ones a, or what it's exactly part of the exactly. culture so when you a woman and you see you know corny old cj he going to the business program at pico and <laughs> he trying to learn how to do business like oh I'm, he, he going by himself oh he corny but then you yeah. see glocktavius he outside in, in, a, in a stolen charger picking homegirl up to take well, her no, on a date. The, and then he well, get pulled well, over so and they go, he going to jail. It, they don't all, it don't always be stolen. It just be the simple fact that because they hustling, they got a little bit of money. Mm-hmm. And Drell made a point because, yes, the guy I was dealing with, yeah, he was a, he was a dealer. He had his little bins. But she said, like, they took care of you. But that wasn't the reason why I was dealing with him. It was like, okay, yeah, I'm getting dropped off in the BMW. Yeah. But all right. All right. But now... <laughs> Today's society, today's young women. I want to ask you: Do you think it's the social media content that these young women are consuming is part of the problem? Yes, I would you are. Say you yes. are our residential young woman expert. <laughs> I wouldn't consider myself an expert, but yes. yeah, but you're you a woman, goddamn it! Uh, yeah, so I'm a yes, woman, but yes. also at the same time, I done revo- I removed myself for the past few years from social media so okay. a lot of things that's on social media i really couldn't say because I don't, i'm not on it but when i was on it like let's just say when i was on social media monitoring my kids yeah the crap that we see the crap yeah. that you see is, yeah. is ridiculous Again, cardi b has a, a verse in a song where she says i don't cook i don't clean but let me tell you how i got this ring <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so again, you know, you know when, how she got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was popping that thing. So yeah. again, like when you got these influences, again yeah. you got songs yeah. like WAP and stuff like that. Like 
Yeah, but they just, don't even have to be on social media. That's just a regular song. Yeah, I'm just saying, but that's where they get all of the information right. from, the social media. So it's like... Yeah, because you got to think about it. Back before, our music used to be censored. Well, you know, no. Music it was, is well, not censored anymore. Or let's just say if you got a song or an album that wasn't censored, you had to specifically buy it from the store with parental consent or had to be a certain age to get that certain CD with the mm -hmm. with the parental, you know, with the the... the what is it? The cursing yeah, and all the advisory. other stuff. Right. Yeah. So, but, now, but they don't make music like the way they used they, to. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's the difference. It's, and it's, pur it's purposely done. We want you to understand like a song like Lil' Kim's I Don't Want Tonight. Eat my say right. Like they would not have put that on the radio. Was, again, I, I even use a, a song that's a little bit closer to to now. Trina has a song called "Look Back, Look Back Look at Me." Back In the at beginning, it. she Look says, "I got an ass so big like the sun. Hope you got a mouth for I want to come." Like. They didn't play that on the radio oh, until a couple <laughs> years ago. That been out Wait in the club. Hold up, hold up. Come on, we about to go to the club. There you are. Yeah, we out. We out. Like oh, that been there playing for there, there it is. She wore the mic out again, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> that mic's I'm done for the night. Going limp. <laughs> yeah, but again, y'all got like, me dancing now. <laughs> that stuff, like it was, it was. You had to go find that. Now, my my pink, my booty hole brown is on the radio. Yeah, like, yeah. Playing that on the radio. Again, it's called WAP. Like it's just a thing about today's today's um, music or just everything. They was they they had them on the Grammys or whatever. Mm -hmm. I forget it was. They was in each other's legs, like dry humping each other. C Cardi B and Megan. So it's like, yeah, it's it, uh, I, somebody, that's the thing now. Somebody right? uh, made a good point the other day. This lady I saw on um, social media. She said. You know, Megan Thee Stallion is coming to her town. She wanted her daughter wanted to go, and she said she wasn't going to let her teenage oh, daughter go there because nah, nah. it's going to be a bunch of grown people there. But you think nah. about it: who makes music for the teenagers right now? We had in our generation, we had B Two K, we had Bow Wow, we Little had Brandy, yeah. we uh, had teenagers making yeah, we teenagers had teenagers music. making yeah. teenage music. But, Whereas uh, now, what, what we, we got Backstreet Boys, right? In sync, right? In -Sync. Everybody that was making music for we us had was around was the same teenage age. Exactly. Stuff. It wasn't until they got grown that they started making songs a little bit more risque. But yeah. there's nobody making songs for the teenagers nope. now. They're all listening to songs from from Adele. Glorilla and Cardi B and Megan and. Uh, sexy red so yeah. it's like yeah you can't not have the kids with five hundred dollar uh turquoise wigs when <laughs> that's what they see in the city yeah. girls and all that it's, it's 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 sad but you know that's the generation it's unfortunate yeah oh shit before we go for the next video i forgot to say guess who's for zach man <laughs> Still smell a crack in my clothes. Yeah. Don't let me relapse on these hoes. Oh Let's my god! Relapse on y'all. Yeah. Come on now, no. The summer was, coming. It, don't get relapsed summer coming. on. Yeah, that's it. Don't get relapsed on. <laughs> Look, <laughs> don't make me relapse. Oh, oh shit! Watch out, fellas. Watch out, y'all. You know, Look, honey my name dip. is Honey Dip for a reason. Yeah, get scorched. Hot, hot yarrow. No, it ain't no hot. Hot yarrow sauce I'm sweet. over there. Sweet like sugar. You know, sweet hot. Are you, are you sweet too hot? much sweet? Get you diabetes, fellas. You better slow down. <laughs> <laughs> better slow yeah, down. Yeah. So we, oh, video. What, we got video number three. three. We got three on the menu. Let me three. Is imagine number. Yes, it is. You remember that song? I don't. I'm sorry. You remember that? Mm -mm. Oh man, yes. I'm older than y'all. Yes, you remember that song? Yes. yes. See? I'm sorry, I'm a young bull. Oh my god. No, you're not. Stop it. You're hate. Yeah, That's hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah he over there. That's hate. Yeah, he over there lying, y'all. That's hate. Any, any, anyway, anywho. <laughs> um, listen, Glorilla is going viral after being asked. Oh Jesus! About her visit with Joe Biden. Take I'm about to go to see me. Yeah. So wait, shall we say Joe Byron? <laughs> Joe Byron. Hey yo, <laughs> Joe Byron. That right. we're peanut at man. There's a peanut kick. Yeah. So it's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. What they wanted politically. Did they want your endorsement? Did they want you to help people get out the vote? Hey, you know, they ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. But, you know, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying, talk politics. But I love the president. You know what I'm saying? I love everybody. And at the end of the day, the day got to end. Listen, before I, before I pass this off to y'all, I want to know is they need to fire our whole team. 
the president's team who thought it was a good idea to have Glorilla represent the black community. You know what I'm saying? She represents herself. She don't represent me. But that's the way white people see us through through our through our, our arts and entertainment because that's the, the the biggest spokesperson for us. She t- yeah. she's again, taking this, the biggest selfie again, with them. This woman has a, a verse in her song where she says, "Don't give a f about a credit score. I might be rich as f tomorrow." Dumbass. That's the woman that y'all that that, that, that don't even rhyme. I'm sorry. <laughs> it don't make sense. If you know anything about credit, you know that what you're saying ain't making no sense. <laughs> don't give a f about a credit score. I might be rich as f tomorrow. That's no, what she's saying be. in the song. Like, so you, you just like, at the end of the day, it's like. Again, they did it with Cardi B. They had her up there. No disrespect to her. I love Cardi. I love Glorilla. But they not. They should not speaking about the Democratic Party, the Republican Party. They should not be speaking on behalf of Black. And culture. I need her to keep Jill Scott's lyrics out her She's mouth. She's like yeah. twenty five. Like Jill she don't Scott know got sense. She don't know. They should have had Jill Scott get up yeah. there and represent. Well, you know what? Well, uh, or, listen. What? I'm gonna say this. I I can I believe I can safely say that the targeted audience that the Democrat Party is trying to um, get in touch with or trying to get out and vote aren't really voting. Yeah, that's why they try I to believe I can exactly. safely say, I believe I, I think can about safely it. say that. Yeah, if you, if you think about it, the if they're trying to grasp the attention of the 20 something year olds, the 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 ones that are that's just entering, you know, adulthood, mm-hmm. they have not been um voting so yes they're going to get her their attention through her so now they want them as the majority to vote and pretty much vote him back into office but i'm, a, yeah. I'm not i'm not going to go all and, political on this about you know biden and, and all that other I, stuff. Yeah, but, I mean i agree um, I, you know i agree i'm not but but the- <laughs> at this point if he <laughs> sees that the majority of our generation is not happy with what he's doing. He knows that he's yeah, out of there. But again, the out of the out of touch Democratic Party having meetings with rappers. I'm sorry, trying to influence the that generation of people who can't even probably can't even spell politics. Again, it's so far fetched to me. If, if you want, if you want it, if I want, if we wanted somebody to watch this pod, if we wanted young people to watch this podcast, do you think we we should get Doctor Umar? Or do you think we should go get a little dirt? <laughs> Shit, I got one better for you, sexy red. Hell no. So that's what I'm saying. If you yeah. want, if you want people to watch you, you got to know what they're watching. And again, white people or the white power structure, they think that the majority of children are sitting around, which is not the majority, but it's a good amount of them. They're yeah. listening to sexy red, or they're listening to Glorilla. So they're going to go get them. When I was 21. What was that? Two in the early two thousands, mm. when it was rock the vote and all that. Who they who they had to, who, who did they have out in front? Who they? Yeah. Diddy, rock the oh, vote. Yeah, he had the rock the vote shirts and all of that. Yeah. He was out there. Do they think I was going to listen to Diddy or Bill Clinton? I didn't care about no Bill Clinton at 22, 20. <laughs> I don't care what he's saying. Yeah. You know, this white man. No, they, 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 I'm going to take that. I think oh, I'm, take I'm, that. I'm, I'm about that. to. I'm about to go liberal on this next you know election. <laughs> Liberal. I don't yeah. know about you. I'm about to go independent. Independent. Oh, you know, independent. Republican. I'm going to Africa. Look. Yeah, look, <laughs> listen, you said Africa. Listen, I'm listen, just go live in listen, Africa. How about I just not vote? I'm, I'm going to say this before we move on to the next one. If you're blindly voting Democrat because you're obli- you feel that your I'm obligation is to, your, is to being a Democrat. Financial class. Man, you, you, you a goddamn fool. And you got to do, you got to do, do, you, you do your research. You got to do, do your research. research. Up until no uh, matter what, up until Kennedy came, the majority of black people doing well in this country were Republicans. So, yeah, just do your research. Just mm-hmm. understand yeah. what the Democratic Party is. And, yeah, and stop. Yeah. yeah, stop that. I mean, as an adult, when you get older, you just don't just check all just, Democrat. Just check all you know Democrat what I mean? You know, when because. you're young, you know what I mean? You, you're impressionable. You, you exactly. know, and also Demo- at the same my mom's time, a Democrat. Right. My, my father's a Democrat. But then also my uncle's the other Democrat. thing you got to remember are is because a lot of people don't do their research and then when you go to the polls, they give you they them little, no the, those little papers are. and it tells you, oh yeah, vote for all these Democrats because they'll help you. Those days are gone. Please. Now that I'm older and paying bills, Man, I'm like, man, we need it. Let me see here. Help me pay my bills. Listen, we we, honestly, we need like 
after you go through a bad breakup, we need a couple years off. Let's just, right. not, have, let's right. just not get a president at all. Like, right. we, just, yeah. we just all pitching together and make make stuff happen. Yeah. Oh we, we, get, we get one bad breakup after yeah, another. Yeah, we ba- we batter right now. We 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 batter. We just gotta you know. We just gotta take some time to ourselves. Yeah, I need to, I need to get to learn who yeah, I, I am. Gotta, listen, 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 man. This is our choice, man. You either got a coochie grabber, or you got someone who don't even know his fucking asshole from his elbow because he just forget he forgets everything, man. So who who are you gonna choose? You got grab the pussy. You got, you got Teddy the Toucher, <laughs> or you got Dominic Dimension. Yeah, yeah, right. Dominic Dimension but or you know, Teddy that's the Toucher. Oh, first of all, he should. What is the president God. should 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 be between forty and sixty five? That should be the new rule. No, would you want your? Would you want your? Your? I love my mama to death. She's seventy one years old. I do not want her running my company. I love first you, mama. All, I'm gonna take care of you forever. But no, go, go home. Is supposed to be assisting him. I haven't. I haven't seen much of her. The vice president ain't never did nothing. What is, what, well, 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 maybe she's just a figurehead. She doesn't figurehead. She anyway. is. I'm sorry, but you know we ain't gonna go too deep. Yeah, yeah, but you know this joint podcast, man. We not a political podcast. Nah, man. not at all. Not we at just all. we just a talk shit podcast. We, we talk are. shit. All El Boogie in the building, y'all. Mr. L. L. Boogie. What's up? Yeah, Shout out to everybody in the chat. El Shout out to everybody in the chat. Man. You know what I mean? Just don't see podcast. y'all. We appreciate you. Know, you. We, oh, man. Where we at? We are at number we, four. We're at number four? Number four. But, man, uh, you right over there, T? I'm good. Why you ask me that? Yeah. Just make sure, just, you know, when checking drinking. all you because, you know, man, last week hey. you, was on, you was on that ish. No, last week I was on good behavior. Mm-hmm. That's what I'll do. I think it was her that started that. Dick. No, it was not. <laughs> I think, I, I, I think it was her that started that. I am such a lady. I'm too classy for that. <laughs> no, you, know, you know how many freaks I heard say that before? <laughs> I don't want to be listen, a freak, listen, but what, I can't look, help look, myself. Look, what's, the, what's the first thing they say before they go be down on you? Uh, I normally don't do this. <laughs> guac, 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 guac. <laughs> Oh, no diddy. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> really? Really? You got you to gotta put my business out there like that, though? Is that your business? <laughs> oh. yeah. Now we're getting some. Whoa. I tell joke. you. <laughs> <laughs> this your podcast, man. Whoa, we at, let's go to number. Number four. Woo. We at number. No, yeah, number four. Yes, number four. Number four. <laughs> so, wait a minute. Oh, I ain't got my clicker. I ain't got, I ain't got it set up yet, man. I got set up, man. Hey, you slipping? Go. I know. I, I'm, I'm slipping on my pimping. You remember that? Mm. Remember that I'm slipping on my pimping. <laughs> pimping. Yeah, you know I'm saying. <laughs> Video number four. <laughs> we got a mother that goes off on her 14 year old son for having his bedroom looking like this, a hot mess. <sighs> yeah, I mean, where my girl at? It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. Brandon's room. He's 14. And this is his room. He don't know how to get up and clean up. He has everything that a child could ask for. But this is his fucking room. This is what he chooses to lay in. This is his uniform. He's been sleeping all day. And this is his fucking bedroom. Can you believe this? Look at this. This is disgusting. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. My bad. Didn't mean to step in the dominoes. Sorry. Oh, is that a slice of pizza on your bed under a pair of pants? Cool. Yeah, okay. Great. Let's put that on your Instagram, Mr. Cool. Uh, man, that's you know what? That's it. No I need in the my building. kids. Hold up. First of all, is my kids in here? I need my kids to just like step in. Like, hold up. Ain't no way in hell my house looking like that. What, was you grinding let, let your me, kids up for having their bed looking I like that? I used to have my kids. Let me tell you something. If they if they was playing like with their food and yeah. it was food on my ceiling, yeah. oh, you know what? Uh, I got pictures of my kids standing on a chair cleaning the damn ceiling. Yes, you gonna get that ketchup <laughs> off my ceiling. I ain't playing that. <laughs> She didn't show the kids like this. <laughs> no. Get that Lego off First that goddamn all, floor. My thing is, is like his room is like that because of her. If he's 14 and got everything in the world, ain't no way in the world for me as a mother, he would yeah. be sitting there watching that TV. That TV would be off. I would have unplugged it and took the cord out. He would be cleaning that room. Yeah, like he had. Look, he I can had, imagine what her room looked like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So yeah, one of, yeah, PlayStation, everything in there. So one of, our, one of our one of our one of our our lovely chat members, our viewers, 
said it best. She said, she said it. He has everything a child could ask Shit, for. I ain't lying. You're the parent. Stop <laughs> buying him stuff and allow him to leave his room like that, period. So I agree right with there. that. You know I that. agree with that a thousand percent. Because yeah, right there, man. you, you want to put him... You want to... You want to put him on blast, right? <laughs> but at the end of the day, you got him all the stuff. That video, I'm pretty sure that that the way his room looked, that wasn't that didn't happen in a day. It did. Oh, so every morning uh-huh. he gets up or every night that he goes to bed, I'm pretty sure you duck your head in the room or maybe you don't. And that's why the mm-hmm. room looks like that. So again, at the end of the day, what I the the problem I have with a with a lot of parents these days is they reward these children for nothing for they bad no for they, nothing they, they reward, don't get they reward them for bad behavior for, or for nothing they don't even do anything so the fact that because my children know there's no way in the world that you're going to get a snack a playstation 5 a nintendo nothing if i go in your room and and look a mess or yeah. if you got shoes all over the place you have to put the standards in place yeah and if I, you and don't me, I, tr- you're going to get you kids like yep. that and again one my neighbor she always said kids go by what they see yes. not by what you tell them so i yes. could tell you a million times go clean up go clean up but if you go in my room and my room looks a hot damn mess then that's that they they be like, yeah. Wait, now, now you know look i, I look that's every, why they say kids are sponges they're going to go by what they see yeah look every morning i make gia make up her bed clean her room any anything that's out of place all your toys should be put up, not not on your doll house. All your toys should be put away. All your bar, your Barbie dolls, your little hair products, all that should be put away. The mother should be embarrassed for having her, and then she's gonna put this shit on Instagram. Why she gonna be embarrassed? Embarrass because him? at the end of the day, You're I'm just pretty sure. Yourself. Let me tell you something. That's one thing that I did used to do. I used to clean houses, and sometimes I still do every now and again on the side. However, right. When I've seen stuff like that at people's houses, the parents' rooms always look the worst. Like, how are you going to put your child on blast when you are an ex- he's an example of you? Yeah. And again, yeah. I'm not I'm not cool with the whole put your kid on blast thing, because at the end of the day, every kid don't accept that. So, like, you could really mess up a kid's self-esteem yeah. by doing by, yes. or their self-confidence yeah. like at the end of the day that's a you problem that's not a that's not a world yeah. problem yeah, yeah because you need to work that out because you kids. didn't teach him exactly you didn't teach look let me tell you it starts from let it me, starts look my everything. kids was cleaning up after themselves at the age of three i they would tell you i used to have them clean up after the barney song now yes we we, we going back <laughs> some years but clean up clean Yes, that was the song they would sing while they were cleaning their room. I did not play them games. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't didn't Barney get hit with a freako oh, charge? God. Did, did Barney get hit with a freako charge? He did get hit with a freak. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but look. No. I'm just joking. Okay. I don't, I, I don't want to torment somebody's no childhood. But I, We love you, Barney. But, but, but this is where I believe this is where a male figure should come into play. When I was young man, my grandfather, he should be like, boy, don't you get your ass out of that bed until you make that bed tight. And my grandfather was in the military. So your bed had to be tight when you bounce a quarter off. No lie. It's called come, hospital corner. He used to come in the room and bounce a quarter off that. Yo, you that joint better be tucked yeah, tight. They call that's how ho- my pop pop they was. They call man. them hospital corners. At hospital corners? Yes, that's what they call them. Yeah, man. You got to Like, y'all got to tighten up. At the end of the day, the hardest job in the world, the hardest job in the world, is being a parent. It's by far the <laughs> hardest job in the world. She is such a liar. So I was yeah, you used to sing is a hard knock life. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna fight her. You know what? When I leave, yes, I'm coming to find you. Where you at? <laughs> Listen. She ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. <laughs> she said, "I she ain't said." Doing a goddamn thing, y'all. She said, "I said what I said." <laughs> okay, you was in there having them kids on the damn, um, on the damn, uh, on the chain, on the chain gang. They was a chain gang cleaning up. It's a damn shame. No, they cleaned up after themselves. It's not like they cleaned up after me. <laughs> oh, so look, I gave, on the chain. Look, I yeah, gave them gang. a foundation. I gave this them a the foundation. Let me tell you something. <laughs> working on. As adults now, and with my youngest being 17, they can do they can do for themselves now. I ain't got to do nothing because they've been doing it for so long. And since they were so young, I ain't got to do nothing. Listen, my, my son, no. my son, I went to the gym on Monday. My son, yesterday, he went into the playroom that they have inside the gym. Yeah. I'm coming back to pick him up after my workout. The lady who is in the playroom, she says, oh, 
Yes, Sonny. Oh, my gosh. He helped me clean up. Yeah, because he's supposed to. He, he know that he can come here and play and make a mess. That's fine. But when it's time to leave, clean yeah, it up. Yeah, clean, clean I have to tell him how to do that. Yeah, because I've been training. He only seven. He'd be eight in the summer. He knows when you when you do something, you clean it up. And yep, again, it's a yep, thing. Yep. I have to tell him every day because he's seven and he has a short attention yeah. span. Got, got I got to gotta keep telling him. That's just it's what you got to do. You have to be consistent. You got to yes. stay on Thanks. top. Look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And that's with was, everything, not just cleaning yeah, up. It, 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 it was one day. I'm like, yo, where the hell is my goddamn forks? I'm like, I only got like two forks. Throwing them in the trash. God damn, Jim, throwing them in the damn trash. Throw them in the trash. I'm like, yo, what the hell is all my damn forks? You didn't tell me to put it in the sink. You just said get rid of it. Yeah, you gotta stay on top of them. I don't know which one of my kids, and I think I do. I think at this point I know who it is. I think it was my oldest. I don't know which one of my kids, and I think I do. I think at this point I know who it is. I think it was my oldest son. I found some silverware in the trash. Boy, children will they will throw they will throw it up. Boy, if you don't catch them, the whole plate be in the trash, yeah, man. You no, know. they do not throw them in the trash. No. Your whole yeah, kitchen. Yeah, I mean, just your podcast, <laughs> man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. And subscribe. That's right, man. We, yes, had, yes, we, yes. Had, we had video number five, y'all. Last video of the evening. Video number five. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, T, let me ask you something, mm -hmm. T. Let me ask you, T. You ever no, y'all didn't. See, you know, when they hear she's Ooh. coming in with the lies, my, my daughter tells them they sung hard, not life. Yeah, That's yeah, because right, they yeah. chose to. Yeah, <laughs> right, y'all. They, they right, was in there stressing. They right, y'all. Yeah, yeah. So, wait a minute. So, T, have yeah. you ever dated a man that was sloppy? Yeah. Like a junkie room? I mean, so my thing is, is everybody in, 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 and not just a man, my father is that way. I know the way that I live. Like disorganized, unshelved. And I know the way that I live is different from a lot of a way a lot of yeah. people are. So I don't I don't judge anybody and I don't put that against them. So my thing is it's like wherever I can help out, especially like if I'm if I'm very, very I'm very meticulous, I'm O C D with it. I know everybody's not like that. And okay. I know okay. I'm like off the chain with it sometimes. I had to actually like I used to stress myself out when my kids was young. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going crazy because I see a crayon. <laughs> yeah, you see a crayon in the middle of the floor. <laughs> yeah. But as I got older, it was like, wait a minute, you know what they kids, let me let them but yes, I have let them breathe a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but yes, in terms of your question, yes, I have, but you know, everybody lives different. So I don't judge yeah, anybody yeah. and I don't sit there and, you know, look at a person I'm like, okay, yeah, you you too dirty for me, so I can't deal with you. So no, it is what it is. Like because at the end of the day if i'm if i'm at your house and i'm if i'm dealing with you your house is gonna be clean by the time i leave <laughs> okay. can you imagine you boy you you in the bed with a girl you like this hey look you know you don't get this damn lego out my ass <laughs> is that a piece of pop pizza crust <laughs> yeah the God, i'm laying on the lego <laughs> oh listen man video number five y'all the last video of the night ah man we're gonna kick this off right here so listen this woman breaks down the five different types of women men should stay away from. Ooh. It's let be let me repeat that to the 90% of men we have that view us. Five different types of women you guys should stay away from. And this is from a woman, so don't try to kill this. This is from a woman. God damn it. Peanut! Get your minds right. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh. Let's go. Number one, if she's broke or you ask her what her five-year plan is and she doesn't have one, let her go. Waste of time. Number two, if she's extremely cocky and arrogant in her independence or she's constantly tearing down other women, big character flaw. Internally happy people don't tear down other people. And if she's not internally happy, chances are she's going to depend on you to make her happy. It's going to fail. Number three, if she is argumentative or disrespectful to you at any point, let her go because you can't re-respect somebody. And a woman who truly respects you will demonstrate a little bit of emotional control and she will not disrespect you if she really cares about you. Four, and I might get some backlash for this, but that's okay. If she has an extreme amount of male friends, red flag, I don't even going to go into it. No. One or two, okay, cool. But a large amount of male friends, men always around, she's too attention seeking. Five, if she's a woman that has ever abandoned you because of a disagreement or if she runs away every time you guys fight, chances are she's probably going to run to go get attention from someone else because she can't handle not having that attention. 
I know y'all ain't gonna like what I'm about to say, I'm, but that on. sounds like a nigga right there. Hold on, wait, that I'm sounds a, like wait, the dude. I, I'm gonna say like this right said, now. It sounds like she's talking about the guys right now, not Look. the girls. <laughs> I'm gonna say this right now. I lost concentration at like number two because I them, like them, them titty nipples. <laughs> First of all, them, them bingo bitties. The, you, what can't even, you can't even what? see her damn nipples. It don't matter. She has on a sheer black shirt, but she got on a white bra. We love but it. But you can't see no damn nipples. We love it. <laughs> I, 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 anyway, I, I don't want to be male you, chauvinistic. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? We're going to be. <laughs> let's, let's pull it back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're yeah, very, yeah, di- we're very diplomatic here. We're yeah. not going to talk about so that. Wait, so, wait. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're going to let CJ kick this one off. Go ahead, CJ. CJ, what do you think, bro? Listen. Listen. That was like that was like Love Jones. <laughs> like, that was like poetry. <laughs> yes. We don't want you to be argumentative. But that's what the yes. hell y'all like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, oh, this is our segment. Y'all stop I'm let you get Stop cutting in it. Stop all cutting right. in it. Listen, right. we don't like argumentative. We don't. <laughs> We're used to argumentative because we probably grew up in households with argumentative mothers and aunts and all, and all those type of mm-hmm, things mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but we don't mm-hmm. like that when we get older we we like that's the part of peace when they say be a man's peace because we don't want to argue with you we don't i don't want to argue the whole broke thing that most men don't really care you about big man <laughs> we don't care about you being broke like why you uh, it's according to your man. mentality if you have a broke mentality yes but if you don't have no money we don't really care about that part the male the male friends thing yes if you got a lot of male friends, and, and uh, that's a that's weird, that's very weird. So well, what about y'all dudes with the with, with, with a lot of female friends? That ain't got nothing to do with us. What? That's on y'all. <laughs> well, well, wait, see, so wait, miss. Let, let me ask. Uh, uh, see that. Let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Because whenever you ask a woman, yo, why do you got so many male friends? First thing they say is, well, because women gossip too much. They doesn't. And man, I'm like, well, then you need to be lonely. You yeah. don't need to have no friends. And men don't gossip. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man, maybe the first one come back. Yo, I seen your boyfriend. Yo, yo, yeah. yeah. yeah he was out. He was at the hookah spot with this. Yeah. I thought it was his sister. I know. I don't, like they be the first one. So that I don't believe in that. But yeah, like the the the, the thing she said was was very true. It was very very true. So T, hey, T, T mm-hmm. let me let T, let me. Oh, so now you want my opinion? Uh, yes, I'm about to. Mm-hmm. Ask you. I'm about to. Okay. Ask you. Why do why do this generation of women get so upset when you ask them, well, what do you bring to the table? Do you know why? I do. So I think I think it, in my opinion, I can't really speak for the generation because once again, I'm of the minority. No, so. as I said before, you gonna speak with on the night. God person. damn it! I'm not your spokesperson. Mm. So basically, what I think it is is now these days, these women they want the men to take care of them. So therefore, what it is is okay. Like, look, if I got a dude that's gonna take care of me, I ain't gotta but, do nothing. Uh, but but wait a minute. But now now isn't that what all women look for they want somebody to take care of them i think a lot of them be confused. because of- so a lot of it is it's like a double-edged word you want a guy to take care of you but then yeah. also at the same time you want to be I'm independent. independent yeah yeah so you know which one is it you can't be both at the same time there's an old saying that goes he who makes the goal makes the rules so if he's making the goal why you can't follow the rules now again i'm not saying that a man should be a tyrant and the woman has to do everything I mean, yeah. like she's hypnotized. I agree. I agree. But at the end of the day, it's like if he's making the goal, allow him to make the rules. And so what, I, what I've experienced is that there are a lot of women out there that say they want a man to lead, but they really don't want him to lead. Because when he comes up with the with the ideas and how he wants his life to go and how he, he wants his family structure to be. Then they want to start changing Then it's stuff. like, oh, no, mm-hmm. I'm not doing It's like, well, wait, you asked me to lead. Right. And then when I lead, you have a problem with my leadership. So then... I'm I'm diplomatic enough, and um and I, I I like you enough to where I say you know what all right let me fall back and let her you know let her take a little yeah, bit of the lead. Yeah. Oh now um I'm oh he's sassy because I gotta make the why I always gotta make the date. Well I asked you do you want to go eat at so and so you said no. Then I asked you do you want to go eat here you said no. So then when I say hey where do you want to eat? Why do I got to choose? It's like, well, what do you want? Well, you know what? And, and, and I'm going to tell you so what I said. I'm, I'm going to tell you what I said. In the comments, he was I, like, well, that's a good list. Yeah, but most look, women got at least one of them. So then what? Listen, yeah. Listen, like, but, d- so this is the thing. Nobody is perfect. So there, there you go, Jalil. No but one is perfect. Now, now, back to what CJ said. If <laughs> If you got a problem with where I choose for you to eat, you eat, eat. this dick. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go 
That's yeah. always the, that's always the final that's option. Right. That's always the final Here option. Here we go. You don't want pasta. Yeah. You don't want soul food. I got something for you. I mean, we can always go there, but to get back on topic, yeah. You don't want this pasta. <laughs> you take this texter. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it's like again, yeah. Nobody's perfect. So yeah, one yeah. of them. Me, I'll take again out of all of them. I take the uh, the broke woman. Give me the, the one that's broke. Cool. I, I can kind of help change. So her you mindset. wait a minute. So wait a minute. You want the broke woman because you want to manipulate her? No, 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 is that no, what it no, is? No, well, no, it ain't, ain't, that's what it works in my mouth. There's nothing wrong with a girl with a low self esteem. <laughs> what? I didn't say that. That was not my <laughs> take words. Take that back. That was not my words. But it's nothing wrong with a girl with low self esteem <laughs> <laughs> because I can help her so, get her self esteem up. <laughs> see, that goes to show where y'all frame them. No, 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 no. Y'all want somebody that's weak. Y'all want somebody that's weak. Listen, every time you can't take a strong woman. No, no, no. So listen, look, you. Y'all, y'all just can't accept no, us strong women. No. Like that's so, what it sounds so, like. What, no, because what y'all try to do is y'all try to mask the word strong with intolerant. I don't want to. I don't want anybody that I, I can't tolerate. And 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 uh, I've heard this so many times. As a man, it's like, oh, you need to do this. You need to change this. And da 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 da. But the moment you tell a woman to change, she says, well, how come you don't like me for who I am? Hmm. So you can be you, but when I'm me, I can't yeah. be me. Nope. Yeah. How does that work? Listen, you know what? I'm going to tell you. Us men, we need to start hitting these ladies with, hey, we need to talk. No, but see, that's the problem. Yeah. Y'all men don't like yeah. to talk. Y'all men don't like to talk. We don't like to talk about the same thing that we talked about or, or, no, or we don't, don't like the other time. Or we don't like to talk because we don't feel like we're given the safe space to tell you how we really feel. Because then I'm called sassy or, oh, you this, you emotional or whatever. So like, that's why I said with women, it's like you can't win. It's like... If I'm emotional, I'm sassy. If I'm not emotional, so don't, don't categorize nothing. all women not, that this way. Is not so all women. Let's just say this some is, women. This is not all women. Because you do women. have some women that are that can be a safe space and that can listen and and offer a safe shoulder for at? you to. Man, do they got seven kids? Because if they got seven kids, I, I can't do it. I don't want no safe shoulder. I take a teddy nibble and I'm, uh. I'm nice and safe for the night. <laughs> <laughs> Put me right to sleep. <laughs> this your own podcast. <laughs> Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. <laughs> oh, oh, man, we want to thank y'all cats for joining us tonight. Be- I mean, we will see y'all next week. God damn yes, boy, we appreciate week. everybody for tuning in, man. The chat was jumping in. Sir. Sir. Yes, yeah, I mean, man. Well, look, we will see y'all. Well, y'all see us Saturday, but then we'll see y'all next week. Next week. Yeah, I mean, ain't this the building. Pot with it. let Peanut take us home, y'all. Yeah. It's this joint podcast. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Peanut. <laughs> Deuces.